Welcome back to the YouTube channel guys, it's Jay Ayo. So today I'm going to be doing a review on this product called Evo Gimbals. And let's get into it. So this was a gift that was given to me um, by a, a friend on secret, who was, who was a secret Santa. And I have yet to fully try this product out. So what it is, right? It, it seems to be something that is a stabilizer for your iPhone. So you get one stabilizer. It comes with two batteries and you insert the two batteries. You get this. Gotta put it in right you do get a charger plug-in the batteries you can you can charge by yeah. USB thing connector right here so that's really important you also get this and you get a screw if I could get it out that'd be good you get a screw and you get get one of these which probably just manages the weight of it so what you end up doing is that you want to line this up like well if you could see it you want to line that up screw it in you want to make sure that it goes in securely um, then you need to get a phone to put in it as well to hold it now there's a technique to it apparently when i was looking at the instructions you have to when you turn it down or oh, turn sorry it, you have to hold it in place you want to hold it in the position that you want it to be in so whatever position that is when you hit the power button you should hold down for about five seconds and then it will it will adjust to the the dimensions that you want it at say it can be a bit tricky using it because it takes more or less a lot of a lot of practice and I have gotten frustrated with it a couple times simply because it's not something that you could just say okay this is what you need to do it's not like something you can just flip on and it works you have to actually be patient with it so i'll give you an example right so what you do like in this case because i want this to more or less be in this side i'd have to power button down and then also hold the the center center button right here so i'm going to do it now and what will end up happening is that i'll feel a little bit of resistance and after i feel that resistance i want to make sure that it's going in line or coming in line at least so i'm feeling the resistance I'm feeling it again so once that I feel that it's a bit firm this is when I can go on to do what I want to do so it's perfectly coming aligned like this as how I want it and if I now it's out of line it does that it, it can get to you but you have to be low-key patient so we're gonna we're gonna do it a second time again because we had it right so what you have to do is hold it for about five seconds feel the resistance once you feel the resistance so yeah that it, it takes a while on yeah. the front i'm not even gonna fret it, ta it takes a while it's all about being being patient with it right because it's something new so i feel the resistance i want to double check to make sure that it's what I want it to do. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, so now it's working, right? So I, what, what I do now is You can't touch much. it Because it's very sensitive as well So this honestly is an exercise in, in being patient At the end of the day So I would hold it down again for about 5 seconds Feel the resistance Hold it down again, feel the resistance And hold it down for a third time And once I feel the resistance which I feel now. I want to be gentle to ensure that um, nothing is is going out of whack. So I can hit the record, and I'm recording myself being recorded by this. Um, and so, what capabilities you have is that you're able to round with it. You're able to move from side to side without having that shaky effect. Um, it helps with overall quality of content it has helped to um radically change my my content in terms of how it used to be shaky and the quality of it to a more seamless seamless process so at the end of the day you get to toggle up you get to go down you get to go sideways and all of things and you can even when if you're walking with it you can i guess do a turn and it doesn't seem as if like it's all shaky and whatever um i haven't figured out what this does more or less but i think it it has something to um stabilize it so the thing with this thing at the end of the day if it realizes that you are not using it it will go out of whack so i'm gonna do it again just to show y'all that i can get it So, so yeah, now I know it's working. It, it came off again. It's on the so I have to wait for at least give or take three resistant, three resistant pushes for me to know that it's okay. It's after the third one. That's when I know that okay, it's all good to go. But it's gone out of whack. I want to see what happens when I screw this in at the side. Um, if it makes, because I thought it was like a stabilizing thing, which it could end up being. And so we're going to take it from the top again, right? So I'm going to hold it in place. One, 1,000, 2,000, 1,000, Okay, yeah, so I have it back here. It's, it goes up, it goes down. I can move from side to side. Just to show y'all what it looks like, I can record um, up, down, backwards. If I want it to like record myself, like right here, I can just simply hit that and be like, okay, yeah, bring it across move over and it doesn't make it feel like it's a very chucky chucky or weird weird look okay so my review of gimbals i would give it a 9 out of 10 simply because of the simplicity of it it's it's not too heavy it just weighs about five 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 pounds right yeah and you can use it in different different um angles rather and it, it gives you flexibility where you can take it with you anywhere and so you get awesome stickers as Much well for watching this video if you like this video give this video a thumbs up um don't forget to like subscribe and share and i'll see you all in the next video